think it is that makes a hero? Uh, bravery, love, and a lot of courage. Okay. How, how do you feel when you think about your uncle now? Sad. You feel sad? Do you feel anything else besides sad? That's very natural to feel sad. How else do you feel when you think about how he gave his life to help other people? Happy, but sometimes I feel sad because um, I didn't want um, none of my uncles to die. Do you think of any people who really acted in heroic kinds of ways to give us some hope? My grandmother. grandmother. How was your grandmother a hero? We, we, we were talking about how, um, how can all this relate to September 11th? And she said that all the, fam all the people that died that we can relate because we're, we're together. Like in September 11th, all the people that died, they died together as a family. If, really, if I was there and I was going through an explosion, I'd be scared and I'd just run away. But those people just stood there and they knew they were risking their lives, but they, they had to do it. Who do you admire? Um, I said it once, I'll say it again, my grandmother. Your grandmother. She gave you a lot of, any other wise things your grandma, I, I like your grandmother, I don't even know her, but I like her because the kinds of things that she teaches you. Can you share anything else that, that she's taught you to help you through all of this? She, she's, she's the one that told me not to, not to be scared, to go on with your life. And even though that you can't forget what happened, you, you, you shouldn't like always stay back. You should move up more. You should, because new things will happen, better things, probably. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that, Miguel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do too. So where are we going next? Well, we're going to take one more eensy weensy step back. Then we're going to slowly start heading over to now. Too far. Ah! The sweet smell of pine trees and ferns. This is a good place. And to think that it was only yesterday that I left the wonderful island of the State General, or what I like to call. Staten Island to find this wonderful place. This is a land of possibility. I foresee a powerful city. The soil here is rich and fertile, and the underlying rock is. Actually, Mr. Hutton, this place is composed of the bedrock schist, a high-grade metamorphic rock that is well foliated and contains muscovite, mica, and feldspars. It can support the weight of skyscrapers that, um, one day will, um, exist. Um, yeah, nice. No, actually, schist. Although nice is also a high-grade metamorphic rock, the light and dark minerals in night are separated into alternating bands. Therefore, this is obviously schist. Schist. Um, uh, yes. Anyway, this year, 1609, on this date, September 11th, I, Henry Hudson, declared this land and its surrounding waters to be a center for great trade in this vast new world. The natives on Staten Island called this place Manhattan. Shall we keep this name? It doesn't matter what you name. Yes. 
Hi, my name is Osama, and my birthday is in July 25th. Hi, Osama. I'm glad to get to have some time to talk to you today. You know, we've been uh, talking with many of the students here today about the events of 911 and the impact that it had on the city and the lives of people in the city. It touched everybody in a particular way. You remember that day? Okay, so you know very well. Um, and I happen to know that uh, it's been particularly difficult for you because you have um, been the object of some teasing and some unkind remarks because your name is the same as another name which is associated with things that are not so nice. Can you tell me about that? Uh, people always make fun of me and they say you bombed the, the World Trade Center and you're a, a world killer. How, how does that make you feel? It makes me feel sad. Okay, tell me more. And because people always make fun of me and I and I don't have that much friends, I only have like not as much friends as I I had in my other school. It is unfair and unkind, but what's going to happen, what do you think is going to happen over time, as time goes by, if you continue following this good path? And then people will, people will I will, I'll start having more friends, and people will start being nice to me. That's right. Like in old school. That, that's right. They're, they're going to recognize how, how special you are. We, we talked a lot in your classroom. Um, uh, about someone during the month of January who people were very unfair and unkind to and called names and uh, uh, someone who was working for all races to get along together. Remember who that person was? We say he was so special because no matter what happened, he said, don't resort to violence, don't resort to anger. He said, we shall overcome all the bad forces in the world. That's Martin Luther King. That's Martin Luther King. Guess what? You're doing the very same thing that he did. I say, that makes you very, very special. And I'm, I'm glad I know you. I really am. Ooh, I think I'll name this river after. Me! Guess what date Henry Hudson first set foot on Manhattan? 
You can't tell me that happened on my birthday, too! I kid you not. 1609, September 11th. Anyway, I think it's time we start pushing on. Next stop, the Castle Garden Theater of New York City in the year 1850. Jenny Lynn was the most famous singer of her day, more popular than Britney Spears. And I suppose you're smart enough to figure out on which date she gave her first performance in America. 